My approach to balancing function and look is really to consider the project holistically. We design from the inside out and also from the outside in. You know, you've got to consider the site context, you've got to consider the microclimate, and you've got to respond to the client's specific brief. And I think if you holistically approach all of these things, the look of the building, the overall concept for that emerges quite organically from it. I think what I've learned from this project is it's kind of reinforced my belief that bespoke design needs to come from engagement with clients. I think by having a more human-centred design approach, we're considering how a building might evolve over its lifetime and the impact that that has on the people who use those buildings. So we're considering how the basic physiological things of light, air, noise, temperature, impact on people. So no matter how a building is cut and carved in the future, that those basic physical tenants are embedded in the design. The moment of this project, uh, for me, it was when I was visiting the site and it was nearing completion and the contractor was still working on site. And there are these skinny steel columns which hold up the, uh, the avenue and they were cladding them in this gorgeous silver birch to make them look like tree trunks. And the teachers caught sight of this and they come running out to marvel at it. And they, you know, you could just see that sense of magic of this is a special place.